Hey friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss such an amazing trick in Excel that will help save a lot of our time and will make our work more efficient and more productive. Before we start discussing our trick, let's discuss that how we find or search anything in Excel. Usually we use Ctrl plus F key to open this find and replace window and we write here anything that we want to search or find right let's say from this data i want to find our customer name facebook so i will write here facebook and then i will press enter you can see it is not easy for me to see where is my search result right it is quite difficult we have to concentrate especially when we have big data we have to concentrate okay where is our search result Let's say if I want to find all the search results for this term Facebook, I will click on find all. Still, I cannot find where are all the results, right? So it is quite difficult and time consuming and especially we have to concentrate, right? So our today's trick is to resolve this issue. Our today's trick is we are going to create such a search box that will automatically highlight our search results. For example, I will search here Facebook and here we go. You can see now we can clearly see that where are our search results. We can use this drop down list or even we can enter here anything that we want to search. We can enter here manually. So this we are going to discuss that how we can create such a search box in Excel. This is very easy very simple it will not take too much time so let's start this is the sample data that we are going to use in our tutorial to create search box what we will do let's highlight this box in a different color that color we will be using to auto highlight our search results so here what we will do we have filled this color maybe we want to insert a border now what we will do, we simply select our data on which we want to apply this search box. We have been selected our data. We will simply go to home tab. In home tab, we will simply go to conditional formatting. We will go to new rule. In this new rule window, we will go to the last option. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And in this box, we will insert our formula. The formula is equal sign then if function. If bracket open, if this cell where we will be searching something, if this cell is not equal to blank, if less than and greater than signs are put together, that's mean not equal to. If this cell is not equal to blank, two times quotation mark uh, to insert here blank, then comma. If this cell is not equal to blank, then we want to use search function. We will insert here search bracket open. We will select this cell because here we will be inserting terms that we want to search, right? So search function bracket open. We will select this cell then comma. Now we will select here cells from which we want to search. Let's say we want to search only customer names and invoice numbers. So what we will do, we will select the first cell of this customer name column then and sign then because we also want to search invoice numbers we will select this in first cell from the invoice number column bracket close for this search function and then second bracket for this if function now you can see this b5 cell that we selected and c5 cell these are locked we will just remove dollar sign from this row number because we want to apply this conditional formatting from top to bottom, not only fifth row. So we don't need to lock, keep locking this row number. We will just remove dollar sign from row number and then our formula is complete. We will go to the formatting now. We will go to the format. Let's say we want to format in the same way. We want to highlight our search results in this color. We will select this color. We will go for OK. We will go for OK. And here we go. Now let's say we want to search now maybe PepsiCo. Enter. And here we go. 
all the results or all the rows having this word pepsico are highlighted let's say we want to search with an invoice number let's say i want to search here invoice number ad0016 i will press enter and here we go this is our invoice number ad0016 we can make it more easy and more automatic what we can do we can simply copy our customer names we can simply paste it here we can go to data format we can remove duplicate from our this customer names and now we have these our customer names we can simply create here a drop down list i will select this cell i will go to data format i will go to data validation then again data validation and here in setting tab i will select list and down here i will select our list of customers but here i will select our list of customer including first blank cell i will go to error alert and here i will just uncheck this box show error alert after invalid data is entered why i uncheck this because we want to use here drop down list as well as manual entry right if let's say i don't uncheck this box i keep this box checked i will go for okay you can see i can use here this drop down list but if let's say i want to enter here anything i want to enter here any invoice number ad0005 it will not allow me to enter so what i will do i will again go to data tab data validation data validation and i need to uncheck this box to enable here manual entry also i have unchecked this box i have go for okay and now you can see i will hide it now i can enter here manually also ad0005 here we go i can use drop down list as well you can see this will make our work more efficient more productive and will save our time that we used to spend on concentrating that where is our search results right so friends that's all for today if you like this video if you like this tutorial don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and at the end please don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye